in literature as in love, we are astonished at what is chosen by others. Without a family, man, alone in the world, trembles with the cold. We owe to the Middle Ages the two worst inventions of humanity, romantic love and gunpowder. The art of reading is in great part that of acquiring a better understanding of life from one's encounter with it in a book. Smile, for everyone lacks self-confidence and more than any other one thing a smile reassures them. If men could regard the events of their own lives with more open minds, they would frequently discover that they did not really desire the things they failed to obtain. Old age is far more than white hair, wrinkles, the feeling that it is too late and the game is finished, that the stage belongs to the rising generations. The true evil is not the weakening of the body, but the indifference of the soul. Without a family, man, alone in the world, trembles with the cold. We are almost always the craftsmen of our own unhappiness. Everything that is in agreement with our personal desires seems true. Everything that is not puts us into a rage. And why wander in these labyrinths? Once more, for aesthetic reasons, because this present infinity, these vertiginous symmetries, have their tragic beauty. The form is more important than the content. Even our strongest emotions die, don't you think? And we can look back to the woman we were three years ago with the same curiosity and detachment as if it were someone else. One might have said that reason made him flee from reason. Novelty, the most potent of all attractions, is also the most perishable. The life of a couple is lived on the mental level of the more mediocre of the two beings who compose it. A few days later we went to the opera together to watch my beloved Siegfried. It was a pleasure for me to listen to it beside the man who had become my hero. There is no absurdity or contradiction to which passion may not lead a man. When love or hate takes control, reason must submit and then discover justifications for their folly. Men cheat because they don't feel needed, women when they don't feel loved. 